Hyperxlide started last summer, and it started with a small group of us. We finalized our vision, and we decided that we want to do this competition, and it turns out that a lot of other students do too. We share a vision of creating a different way to move people around, a better way. So Hyperxcite's half-scale pod is meant to travel up to speeds of around 200 miles per hour on the one-mile test track. It's truly a product that couldn't exist without innovation across the many disciplines of the students on our team. On each subsystem, we have, across the board, many disciplines. Structures, civil engineering, fuselage, aerospace engineering, mechanical design, mechanical. Same for levitation. We have material science because we use special materials. So it really broadens our design and we can specialize and use our expertise to really refine and make the best design possible. Our braking system is double fault tolerant. Um, our primary form of braking is electromagnetic, which uses eddy currents, and our second form is mechanical, which uses uh, brake pads and calipers. What my team and I are responsible for is creating a safe, cost-efficient structure. What that entails is making sure the structure can take all of the acceleration and braking forces along with mounting all the other systems to it. The single biggest issue for levitation, at least, was having to account for the variations in the topology that may exist across the aluminum plates that we would be traveling over. We had to transition from a direct air bearing system over to something that was a little bit more like a hovercraft using polymer skirts and containing the air that way in order to provide our levitation. The way that we've made sure that we can make this into reality is by designing something that is easily manufacturable. And also on top of that, having the right talent on the team who's had industry experience. So using software like ANSYS and SOLIDWORKS, we were able to model each component and perform FEA analysis to ensure that each part had a high factor of safety. We vetted out a PLC system that had at least a certified safety integrity level to an international standard. So therefore, we are confident in our design and our controls that the controls will provide the necessary safety for transportation of human lives.